Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and in this video created for the new Boston, I'm going to be talking to you about substring replace. Now, substring replace looks like this. This is how we call the function in PHP. Now, substring replace takes up to four arguments. The first argument that we take is the string that we want to look at. The second argument is the string that we want to replace. The third argument is where we want to start. And the fourth argument is where we want to end. How many characters or how many, I guess, length, if you like, the length of the replacement. Now, let's have a look at what this, what it basically does first. Substring replace, like I said, is a combination of substring and str replace. So we have substring in PHP, which will return a specific um, part of a string. So we could specify in a string, let's say, if we had a string Alex, if I wanted to start at 0, 1 and go two characters, we would, we would return ex. So that's substring str replace will find a string within a string and it will replace it with a specified string so substring replace is really a combination of these two functions so why would we need this we would need this because we're searching for something but then what we're then doing is we're re we're replacing uh, we're replacing the string with a specified amount of data so, for example, if you wanted to cut a string in half, this would be um, a function to use. If you wanted to say, in fact, no, sorry, if you wanted to cut a string in half, you could use substring. But with substring replace, it will search for a string, but only within a specified portion of a string. So, let's create a string now that we can work with to show this example off. Um, I'm going to choose um, this part don't search let's just put a uh, slash there this part search now what's the idea of this example I'm going to not include this part of the string I don't want this part of the string to be searched in however I want this part of the string to be searched in and what I want to do is I want to replace part with another word. So let's create a new um, variable called string underscore new. And this is going to be equal to calling substring replace. Now we can start putting the arguments in it to start putting this into practice. So the first argument is easy. We just need to supply the string that we want to look in. The second is, and um, we need to put in the string that we want to replace. So I want to replace um, part this word here with something else. So let's just say um, part, no, we'll just say uh, um, Alex. <laughs> I can't think of any better examples. So the next uh, argument we need to give is where to start looking. So, <clears throat> or where we start want to replace. So if we count up the characters, we're going to say 1, 2, oh no, it'd be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm not sure if that's counted. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So this will either be 29 or 30, I think. And then how many... Um, characters uh, or, or the length of where we want to search and that's four because we've got four characters in part so let's have a look now at string new and see what's happened 
it's quite hard to come up with an example with something for this but when you do need it you'll say oh that would be useful so uh, yeah okay so this has worked I counted correctly so now we're saying this part don't search this Alex search so we haven't actually searched but we've rather specified where we want to replace within the string now why would this be useful and where would this be useful in a real life example let's say we had a form where a user could um, like in a word processing uh, like in a word processor you can search and replace we've already covered searching within a string so if we were to search within this string and look for part we could then find out that part um, is located at point 29 at location 29 we could then say well we've searched for part the word part is four characters long so then you can take in user input and specify what you'd like to replace so in this particular tutorial I won't be demonstrating that however there is another tutorial where we create the exact program that I've just talked about or the script that I've just talked about so these are the fundamentals of str or oh, substring replace but in the other tutorial we're going to look at how we can put this into practice and how it might be useful